morning, Scott. Good morning, Mo. Good morning to you too. How's uh, life? Good. <laughs> still alive is my classic line. Okay. Yeah, I say still breathing. Still breathing. It's close yeah, enough. It is. Right. Um, so, today's lesson. Mm -hmm. uh, we are on lesson three, I believe. Yes. Um, we're about five hours in, aren't we? Correct. Um, so we're going to be looking at uh, moving on to the next stages. So the stages we've covered so far mm -hmm. on this journey is the moving away and stopping. Yes. And the turns, so junctions, mm -hmm. left turn, right turn. Mm -hmm. uh, we're now going to move into doing the junk different junctions, so roundabouts. Okay. I'm trying to get that third finger yes. out. There we go. This is about... <laughs> Without the little yes, one popping yeah. out. Um, right, so we're going to move roundabouts. on to roundabouts. Yeah. Now, we've got some roadworks here, so yes. you know, we're going to be a bit slow moving, so we can have a little chat as we're driving. Yes. Um, roundabouts, who's got priority? Right. Good. I call that the danger zone. Danger zone, okay. Um, have you ever heard about a blocker car before at roundabouts? Uh, yes. Good. Explain to me, what uh, is a blocker car? So, in a roundabout, um, the car that's coming in the opposite direction and is passing by the car on the right hand side mm -hmm. is would block it and hence it's called the blocker car. Yeah, and so, yeah. Good, so it's blocking the car on the right from yes. going, the one that you'd give priority to. Yes. Possibly give you an opportunity to go at the roundabout. Possibly, yes. Yeah. If that blocker car has entered into the danger zone, yeah. just that immediate right section on the mm -hmm. roundabout, mm -hmm. it's up to you whether you feel it's safe to go or not. It might be safer just to stop and wait. Yes. Right, have we run through mirror signal position speed look routine? Uh, yes, we have. Oh, we have. Yes. Brilliant, okay. All right, uh, my short-term memory isn't great. No. Okay, so that's when we come towards a junction. Mm -hmm. Mirrors first. What yeah. two mirrors for a right signal? Uh, middle and right. Good. Uh, followed by the signal. Mm -hmm. What kind of a position do we take if we're turning right? Uh, on the right and central, the central line. Good. To give you position. And then when do we turn right? Uh, well, it, when you, on a roundabout or just a normal uh, Just junction? a normal junction. Uh, yeah, when you turn right, you go forward and you pass the parallel line mm -hmm. of the, the dividing roads. Yep. You, you start turning the wheel at that point. Lovely. So it sounds like what you're telling me is you keep the centre line, you yes. reach the centre line, yes. and that's where you turn. Yeah, centre to centre. All right. Perfect. You still Perfect. awake? Awake, yes. I have some coffee <laughs> in the morning. So it's nice. And, yeah, you're already there. Try not to, but yeah. I need it. Right, okay, take your time when you're ready, drive on. Very good with your POM routine. So you've got prepared, yeah. you've got your gear. I uh, could add pre preparation with that, the signal, well I done. I could, yeah, but I didn't want to give them the That's all right, that's very professional of you. You see the van coming? Sorry. Yeah, so it might, might cause it to slow. So we'll just wait, have another look. Observe. Sorry. So that's okay. the old part of the pump. And then the last bit, which nobody will forget, is the move. Now, yeah, so for an example, if we had the van coming and we think we might slow it, mm -hmm. This guy doing is going around us, right? Uh, then we'll wait, and because we've waited maybe a few seconds, we're mm. talking like even a couple of seconds, restart we restart the observations. Right, so what's this guy doing behind us? He's, He's going around. For this cars to yeah, all right, cool. And then we start again. Lovely. Sweet. Yeah, we're not going to cause anyone to slow. It's all good. Slow, stop, swerve. Serious walks. Right, now, although this is a roundabout at the end of the road, we've got a temporary traffic light. So we've got roadworks. So when we get a green light, mm -hmm. um, we just go through the traffic lights, yes. past the roadworks, and then we're turning right. And you won't have any traffic coming towards you at the roundabout because they will have a red traffic light. Good. I think you checked all the mirrors, didn't you? Yeah. Good. Okay. Um, don't worry too much about the actual junction itself because it's not in void at the moment because of the roadworks. Yes. And you can see how the temporary traffic lights held the traffic on the right. Uh, whenever you get roadworks, this will happen. Yeah. Okay. Another roundabout. 
straight, please. Good open junction, nice observations to the right. There wasn't an immediate road on the right, so yes. it's the next one, which would be the oncoming traffic. Yes. Okay, very nice. We're gonna be approaching another roundabout. I'd like you to go straight again, please. Good. Looking to the right there. You must double check the right, so it's right, left, right. Minimum observations for any junction. So you can show me that at this junction. Round about straight, please. So we do a little right now, left, right again, and on our way. Well done. Okay, so we've just had quite a few mini roundabouts. Now we've got a one-way system. So we're joining the one way, and we're gonna go round to the second road. So that's the first, St. Stephen's. And we're going to be doing the second, okay? Which is the next one, yeah, brilliant mirrors. Brilliant signal. And we can always have a double check on the left side for any bicycles that might have somehow come along in those few seconds. All right, now we're gonna up the game. We're gonna go into slightly bigger roundabouts. Okay, we'll start off with doing some left turns. So at the end of the road, turn right, please. Sorry, that would have been very confusing. At the end of the road, turn right, and when we get to the roundabouts, that's where we'll be doing our first exits. observations, minimum checks of right, left, right, well done. And the good question to ask is, would I walk out? When we can walk out, we can drive out. Would you walk out? Yes, I would. Let's go. So if we hesitate a little bit, when we say yes, someone might come along. It's okay to stop again, mm. but if we act and commit on it. It's better. Yeah. That van was just giving me a blind spot. Yep. Okay, I'd like to follow the sign to Greenford. So we've got another roundabout coming up. We'll be doing first exit to turning left, please. Nice open junction here, that means it's very clear and easy to see. How's the breathing going, Mo? Okay. Yeah, still alive? Still alive. <laughs> it's a nice present day. Oh, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so at the bottom of this road, another roundabout, then the bottom of that road, another roundabout, then guess what? At the bottom of that road, another I'm roundabout. <laughs> So it's an excellent area to train roundabouts. Yes. And also, following signs. Although you know you're turning left first exit, sign there says Greenford. Yes. Okay, you might be asked to follow signs on your test. Good mirrors, good signal. And then we've got P for position, speed, and look. Well done, yes, double checking. That routine is applied to all junctions. MSPSL. Another good routine for like normal driving roads. Lada, look, assess. So oncoming car, park car. I've assessed there's not enough room. Decide to, whatever, whether that's slowing down, stopping, or swerving. Now they're the only decisions you can make. That's it. We can't fly yet. We can't evaporate and disappear. We can only slow stop or swerve. Sign would have said West Ealing. Turn left, first exit. Mirrors. Signal. 
position, speed, running, jogging, walking if necessary, and look. Ever seen Bruce Almighty? Yes, I have. Actually. I should remember the bit where he does that and the traffic just goes. Yeah, it just parts with. I wish there was some way of us doing that. That'd be amazing. That would be really good. That's I spoke to my brother about this road. Apparently, it used to be dirty. Yeah. In the last couple of months, they've changed it. Yes. So. And the car's been updated, so it's telling us it's 20. I turned on the bing bong noise as well, oh. so we'll yeah. know if we've gone over because the warning chime will come on. Ealing Broadway, please. Mirrors done, check. Signal done, check. Roughly about 10 to 5 car lengths away. Position done, check. Speed done, check. Looking at the wheels. Would you walk out? Fine. Good look. Well done. So the wheels are a good way, if not the best way, of telling where a vehicle's going. Wherever they're pointing, they're travelling. Signal's not so good. Yes. But nice, but sometimes people accidentally signal the wrong way. Leave the signal on. Maybe you can see through the windscreen of the vehicle. And then you might be able to see where the driver's looking. Again, not 100% reliable, but still a very good way of trying to determine where the driver's gonna go, where they're looking usually, okay? Right, um, we're gonna do another first exit, a couple actually, okay. and then we're gonna switch it up to doing right, okay? So, Greenford please, good mirrors, good signal. Position, like how you're driving over the bus stop, well done. Uh, speed, running, jogging, walking, about 20 meters out. Position's off now though, because we've been looking there too much. Okay. See this position here on the left? Oh, sorry, yeah. It's gonna help you with the pointing. I call it pointing. Yeah. So if we come to the edge of the roundabout and we're pointing because of the position where we wanna go, when you go on the roundabout, you will go into your lane and into the direction that you wish to travel. Quite commonly, what just happened to us yes. is that when we reach the roundabout, we're predominantly looking right because it's the danger zone, we have to give priority, we have to stop. So that will make the vehicle so point Follow. that way, yeah. Generally, like I said, when we're looking through windscreens for other vehicles, uh, where the driver's looking is generally where they're gonna go. That's what happens to our body, Greenford. Where we look, we travel, whether it's intentional or not. So if you look that way, you'll travel that way. Good double checking, triple checking, quadruple checking. Lovely, very nice. Okay, we're gonna start going into doing uh, third exits, turning right on the roundabout. Okay. But before we do that, I need you to take the next road on the left, please. So I see one mirror done, two mirrors done, signal done, roughly 10 to five car lengths, well done. Uh, speed and look if we can, if we need to, all right? All right, all the way to the end of the road. I will remind you when we get there that we'll be turning right and then on the roundabouts, we'll be turning right third exit. There will be signs again. I'll ask you to follow the signs, but as you know, you're going to be turning right third exit. Yeah. Good repositioning. This park car is out more than the one before. Yeah. You notice that? you gained your distance from the parked car. Roughly how far from parked cars would we like to be? Uh, opening the, able to open the door. Good, so a door length, a uh, good meter or so. For that reason, yeah, someone opens the door. Okay, at the end of the road, turn right. How was the right mirror check there, Mo? It was all right. Good. We got action replay. Yes, you can, <laughs> you can use it. Please. Let's see that again. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll get it on the technicality. And if we're releasing the brake really slight, won't we'll walk back. Good observations. You decided you'd walk out, so you drove out. You reached the centre of the road and then turned. Very nice, well done. Okay, following the sign at this roundabout to Greenford, please. Nice mirrors, nice signal. 
position will be different this time because we're turning right. So where do we position for right turn? Yeah. Excellent. So towards the centre line. Good speed. Well done, Mo. So you've gone from running, jogging, walking to a stop because it's necessary. Look at the wheels. See how they were twisted towards you. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Fantastic. You see that lady using the zebra crossing yes. over there? Yes, Good. Yeah, you used that, didn't you? Yes. Excellent. Lovely, nice. Okay, good, because the steering's way more important. Don't worry about any exit signals. Yeah. Okay, so now that we're coming into doing a third exit, if possible, we cancel the right signal at the second exit and signal left to tell everybody we want to take the third exit, okay? okay. But if you've got lots of steering, especially on a roundabout that has one lane, because it's usually lots of steering, it's a small, area it involves lots of steering we don't have time for signals okay. priority is the steering keeping control of the vehicle okay eating broadway excellent mirrors excellent signal excellent position nice speed running jogging walking and if you're not sure because this vehicle's in a danger zone we can always come to a nice slow stop yeah yeah now, if the van's not moving, I'm not saying to go. No. Why isn't the van moving? Okay, it's because of the cars up. Okay, cars. cool. Now, any vehicles on the right? Good. Like the commitment. Nice and smooth steering. Lovely. Very smooth steering on your exit. Well done. Nice roundabout. All right, Lada. Look. Assess, decide, act. Okay, good decision. So you looked, what did you see? Uh, upcoming truck. Yeah. What was your, uh, look, assess, what was your assessment then? That it needs more space. Right, and you decided to do what? Um, Slow stop, stop or swerve, good. So you stopped, stop. and then you did it, you acted on it, okay? Well done. Right, now we've begun this sort of asking stage. So yes. it starts with the telling, move on to the asking. Um, I'm going to start asking you what you're going to do at this next roundabout, just like we did with the Lada routine. So Ealing Broadway, now you might miss you in capital letters, yeah, you, Mo, mm. <laughs> everybody, might miss the first exit. Yeah. Ealing's the third. Good, so what did you just do there? Uh, mirror, mm -hmm. there. Good, what are you doing now? S stopping, mm -hmm. accessing, okay. uh, committing. Lovely. It's quite complicated, isn't it? Complicated, actually. Lovely, nice exit, well done. Good, so, happy with the amount of room we've got here? Yes. Lovely, well done. Still keeping a safe distance from the parked cars at the same time. Well done. It's a bit nerve wracking when you get oncoming traffic. Sometimes the roads are very narrow, but you dealt with that nicely when you had that sort of truck coming towards you on the previous road. Okay, West Ealing, Mo. Okay. Talk uh, me through your routine, please. Check my mirrors. Good. Signal. Excellent, you can always mix them, that's yeah. fine, but mirrors uh, and signals must be in order. Good, line, yeah. Down. Assess, coming. Nice, well done. A little close to the roundabout, yeah. gain a bit of distance. Try to get some mirrors on the exit, so oh, that's yeah. one thing I haven't mentioned yet. So that roundabout's bigger than the other ones. Yes. We could argue there's two lanes on that one. There aren't any lane markings, but it's wide enough for two vehicles with a safe space, like a meter door length between the two, two imaginary vehicles on the roundabout. So there's that much room, then there's two lanes, even though there aren't any lane markings. So what's happening is when we're coming out of the roundabout, we're exiting the roundabout, we're very close to the roundabout, yes. even to the point where you're less than a metre from the roundabout. Yeah, okay, so you can have that little bit more gap. Then we're crossing a whole car length towards the exit. So, so really, the yeah, we're changing lanes or we're changing direction. Mirror checks. Good mirror checks there. Talk to me, Mo. So, again, central line. Slow yep. down. Mm -hmm. Check the right. Come 
Lovely Special. speed. Well done. Fantastic. Good assessment. Excellent. That's it. You're committed now. Past the point of no return. Lovely. Very nice steering. Now, I just want to highlight the most important part with any junction is the approaching speed. Mm. You're doing a fantastic job of slowing down to a speed that what we would call is um, appropriate. Uh, so an appropriate speed means that you would be able to safely react and that's to do one of those three options, slow stop or swerve, and it'd be a nice gentle slow stop or swerve, not an immediate bang on the brake or jerk on the wheel. This is dangerous. Sudden change of speed direction is most likely when accidents happen, uh, you're in risk assessment, so that's when the risk goes up. Good, committed. Nice, Mo, well done. You just spoke about the blocker car. Yeah. So you used the blocker there, and you didn't hesitate, which was excellent. And again, good larder routine here, well done. Can you remember what larder stands for? No. So uh, L, yeah, uh, A. a uh, uh, it's what you do in your risk assessment. Oh, so, assess. Yeah. And then D for decisions or deciding. And then A, act. Okay. Very nice. Less space, less speed. Well done. Fantastic distance on the parked cars. A little bit close here though. Yeah. yeah. Getting too confident now, Mo. No, not really. It's just, it's, I'm not used to assessing different car sizes. That yeah, one it's not smaller, easy. But the spice, space got smaller as well. So, yeah, uh, Eden Boy? Yeah. Okay, so. Nervous. Signal. Position center. Central Y. Slow down. Okay. Go. Lovely. Right, now the next roundabout, well done on your on your previous roundabout, the next roundabout is the one that's larger. We yes. could sort of say it's two lanes, yes. okay? So what I'm going to recommend, because of the change of direction across towards the exit when we get there, yes. uh, I'm going to prompt you for some mirror checks here. So we're going to be exiting out towards the exit, which will be that way. So what two mirrors would we check if we were changing direction that way? Middle and left. Yeah. So when we get to the exit for West Ealing, we'll have a little look at doing that. All right, West Ealing, please. Like the speed, very steady, smooth. You've already done your mirror checks, you've done it again, excellent. All right, Mo, well done. Now, what you've just done is you've checked the mirrors, the pair that we were choosing, because yeah. that's the direction we were gonna travel towards, okay? Twice, and you did it once at the first exit, yes. you did it again at the second exit, and then you turned off the roundabout at the third exit. So the point I'm trying to make is that you were checking your pair of mirrors, always good to pair mirrors, at every exit until you turned off the roundabout. Yes. That's an amazing habit to have. Thank you. Okay? Well, I forgot Very last good. then Because the round, like you said, the round, that's the first big roundabout. I, I treated it the same as the last two. So uh, the mirror checks weren't there. Hence, I acted as if it's one lane when it's actually two. Thank you for the reminder. You're doing it independently. Loves it. Uh, lovely observations. Looking through the railings there of the park. Yeah, I used mm. the, I used the glasses. Now. 
what's this man possibly going to do? Just check the mirror behind. Well done. So we're talking about mirror checks for signalling. Yes. That's before we're reaching the junction, roughly 10 car lengths out. We talked about the mirror checks just uh, on the exit of the roundabout, which you did an amazing job of. That's the change of direction mirror checks. And the last one is what we just did for the man using the zebra crossing, and that's a change of speed. So we've got slow, stop, swerve, and we check mirrors for all of them. And the stop one is just the internal mirror to see how close the car following is. All right, do me a favor, Mo. Go straight instead this time. We're gonna step to the next level now, okay? So we're just gonna follow the road straight. Now we don't need a signal if we're going straight yes. when we approach roundabouts. Excellent. If we can signal for the exit, so be it. If there's more steering involved, forget about it. If it's a mini roundabout, i.e. one lane only, forget about it, okay? Because okay. by the time we've actually signaled, we're off. Yeah. Now the way that the examiners, the DVSA, regard the use of signals is would it benefit? Mm -hmm. Now if okay. we signal and we're off the roundabout, it's not benefiting anybody no. because by the time it's gone on, we're actually off. We need it on before we exit, so yes. it's really only for two lane or more roundabouts. Okay, the next roundabout goes straight. Now this is two lanes. Now this is not a normal roundabout, unorthodox. You see the straight arrow? Yes. That's the lane we're gonna need okay. because the left lane is a left only and yeah. it's got a left only arrow in it. That's an unorthodox roundabout. Depending what lane that traffic is in, not that there is any, they have lane markings as well, unorthodox lane markings. So if you've got two lanes and it's unorthodox, what is the left lane only? Not to turn left. Yes. Good. So if these vehicles here approaching you at the roundabout on your right are in the left lane, yes. then you might see that they've got a left only arrow. That means they're not going to cross your path. They're going to exit the roundabout without interfering with your direction. Yeah. That's a good way of determining whether it's safe to go or not. I like to say if they're in the far lane, they're yeah. going far away. Exactly. That's a good one. Yeah. Okay, Mo. We're going to go on to a dual carriageway. We're not changing lanes, we're just keeping to the pavement, so just mirror checks yeah. and keep to the left. Well done. Same thing happens when we go through the next traffic light. Okay? Yeah. So just keep going straight, but as you can see it gets a little bit wider on the left. So again, just mirror checks maybe, and just keep to the left. Lovely because we're not crossing white lines, we're just sticking to our side of the road, therefore we're just sticking to our lane. No harm in having little mirror checks, it does help to build a habit as well, and that would be a change of direction mirror check. Turn left, as we're in a left only lane, uh, we're gonna be turning left and onto the dual carriageway, Oxford. Okay. okay, so this is something that's still quite new. Yes. Um, we're gonna be joining the dual carriageway. Now the idea is when we join, we've got what's called a slip road, yeah. is that we use that slip road, you might remember this from the theory test, to build our speed. Yes. If we imagine that the actual dual carriageway is a river, we want to go with the flow. Okay, so yeah. we're building our speed to match the flow of the river. Okay, as you can see the flow there, you can see the traffic, and it's flowing roughly at the speed limit, which on this part of the dual carriageway is 40. Okay. So well done, nice. You're already trying to check your mirrors, which is nice. Um, here you're starting to see. Good, lovely. Nice, smooth steering. Very good with your mirror checks. Excellent job cancelling the signal. Well done. Um, because the steering is very safe and smooth, the signal doesn't register that we've done a turn, therefore it stays on. So excellent job of manually cancelling the signal. Well done. That happens with lane changes usually as well. So if we were going to be changing lanes on this road, we'd have to cancel the signal afterwards because it will stay on. All right. Um, 
I'm going to go confuse you now. Okay, come off the left here, please. So take the next exit. Yeah. The second. Yes, please. And let's just make it simple for now. So keep the left side, like the lorry. Yeah. Um, what I'm going to show you now is a multi-lane roundabout. Ah, the Greenford. Yeah. The Greenford roundabout. For anybody that's doing the test at Greenford, this will be very relevant. Yes. Greenford roundabout. Um, yeah. So, uh, first question is, why do it to yourself? There are other test centres available. Yes, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Where we're going to be going, yeah, would, okay? Yeah. Uh, to make life simple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, this roundabout on the approach has two lanes. On the roundabout, four. Yes. I'm going to ask you to go straight. You have the first two, or the first left half of the roundabout. Yeah. That right lane has the right two lanes look for the big straight arrow in the second lane from the left see all of this sounds very complicated just look ahead see the big straight arrow and go straight oh it's very faint sorry it used to be brighter yeah. There's a straight arrow there straight arrow there now keep going keep to the pavement can you see how it's gone a little bit yes. very good all right Okay, green light here, keep to the pavement, good with your speed. See the black cars turn left? Yes. Turn left please, first left, yeah. Brilliant mirror signal, well done. Oh, lovely, so what we've just done is we've gone straight at Greenford Roundabout. Be nicer if the road markings are more brilliant or bright. Um, I remember that arrow being a bit brighter than that. Uh, okay, anyway, so what we did is we went into the second lane from the left, which had the straight arrow in it. Yes. That then put us at the first traffic light mm -hmm. in the left lane. Yes. Because the first yes. left... Would take you... Yeah. And then we just followed that lane off the roundabout to the second exit. I think we had the signal on for the exit, didn't we? Yes. Pretty sure we did. Well done. And um, what time would we put that left signal on to tell people we're going to exit? Where, uh, after, where would we? After the junction, past the junction. Excellent, the good. Point. Roundabout turn left, first exit. Yeah. Good, nice open junction, good visibility there. Lovely roundabout. Okay, what we're doing is we're going back to Greenford roundabout. Yes, back in the town. Uh -huh. Okay, um, now you won't be doing this on your test, but it is good practice. Okay, so at the end of the road, we'll be turning left, please. Is that a traffic label? Uh, no, that's on the main road. Okay. So oh, yeah. when you get here, you'll see the markings. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Nice observations, good positioning, have a double check. Right, left, right. Now, when we reach the traffic lights, that's actually the entrance to Greenford Roundabout, which is where the flyover is, yes. the bridge. This time, we're gonna get a little bit more complex. Guess where I'm gonna ask you to go this time? Uh, turn exit. Yes. Yeah, straight. Okay. So we're gonna be turning right, third exit. Yes. Now, on this approach, there's three lanes, not two. Last time we had two, yes, three. I'd suggest using the middle lane. Okay. And I'll tell you why in a second. Very good looking long. Yeah. You've already seen where that middle lane is and you're taking the best line towards it. Brilliant job. Now, I would also suggest possibly putting a signal on. Okay. You could argue that it might be confusing because the cars on your right might think that you want their lane. Yes. But because we're turning right and around about, there's no harm in signaling right. Go into the middle lane. Yeah. Lovely, so I'm just following our lane. Passing the first exit, coming towards the second exit. This is where people generally spiral out, but you can keep the middle lane, because yeah. that's your lane. Yeah. All right. If we spiraled out, we would be where this flatbed uh, truck is here. Now we're passing the second exit. This is the time to do our mirror checks to the left, signal to the left, and if it's safe, gliding out and spiraling out to the left lane. 
pavement's your friend, keep to the pavement, follow follow the truck, okay. keep to the pavement, All right. Sorry. and then turn left. Okay. Because I just want you to get get you to come back to the roundabout one more time. I see. All right. Okay, sorry. I know you want to go on a dual carriage okay. round, go seventy miles an hour. No, no, no. We'll that's... get to that. I didn't. Yeah, I thought that was only for. Um... All right. You would have done it safely. I'm just diverting yeah. us yeah, to get right. us back onto okay. the roundabout one last time. Yes. All right. Now width restrictions. Try and get as straight as possible before you get there. You can always stop. You're very central. Well done. Little, did you feel that? Yes, a little, little bit on the right. Yeah, yeah just a tiny bit. Tiny bit but lovely before there, you were so straight. It just had a very, very slight angle, mm. very slight. And so the back tires sort of got on the right there. Um, that was nice. Thank you. Good. Okay, we're gonna go back to the roundabout one last time and then um, I can let the lead off and you can go <laughs> running down yeah, the dual carriage. I don't, I don't mind doing the carriage a few times, it's, it's interesting. Turn left for me, please. Thank you very much. Nice mirrors, by the way, well done. Corner disappears, post box gone, and that's where we steer. So corner disappears, we steer. I only mentioned the post box because it was on the corner. Yeah. Okay, it's something a little bit more visible for anybody that's um, still awake and watching us on YouTube. Right, turning left, please. Excellent mirrors again, my Well done. Lovely speed on the approach. Fantastic. Okay, you did do a double check to the right, okay. Now, roundabout, same principle. Okay. There's three lanes. Okay. Struggle with my THs, so made a big effort to do that. Three lanes. Uh, suggest using the middle lane. Yep. I like how you're really looking long, I'm trying to see those road markings. The lorry's got his backside kind of yeah, covering right. half your lane. Uh, and we're going to take the third exit, please. Lovely, good decision, well done. Especially in a bend, yeah. you don't want to be next to a large vehicle because yeah. they will squash us before or after, but never next to. Okay, turning right, third exit, please. Aim for the middle lane again. Quite faint road markings, but you've picked up on them. So you've passed the first exit, could do a little mirror checks to the left there. And this is where people spiral out, which you've done this time. Oh no, you've kept your lane. Well done, excellent. If we were gonna spiral one lane out behind the lorry, yeah. that's fine. Mm -hmm. And that's why we did those left mirror checks yes. there. As we pass the next exit, this is where we do more mirror checks. And then this is the time for our left signal and spiral out. So you just kind of relax the steering, maybe that's turn it. it a little bit left. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, and you can always look over that. Keep to the left lane, ideally. Okay. I'm meeting to check the mirrors, yeah? yeah? You can use the right lane, but you'd have to check the mirrors that way, yeah. okay? Just keep going straight, okay? We're gonna go on the dual carriageway, and we're gonna go down the dual carriageway, talk about the dual carriageway a little bit, okay? okay. Right, building the speed. You can do a little shoulder check, more speed, Mo. Go, 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 floor it. Excellent, well done. So you saw the van there? Yeah. Yep. Good, and then the van seemed to be kind of holding speed, yes. so we increased speed. Yeah. Okay, right now, um, way that we would work it, let's imagine we were the van, mm -hmm. and the van did this principle, which I'm about to explain. Yes. If the vehicle joining, i.e., this vehicle, mm -hmm. is in front of the van, okay, let them on. Yeah. So if we were the van, we'd see this vehicle, we'd see it's in front of us, and we'd just come off the gas, maybe a little brakes, and let them on. So like what he did for us. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We can help by increasing speed if it's safe to do so. Exactly. So we'll do the same thing for somebody else that might be joining. Yes. That's very important, especially with so many people on the road. Look at the sign for Oxford. Yes. That we are considerate. That we could, you know, we share the road with everybody. Anyone that doesn't like bicycles please start to give some consideration to them because they're very vulnerable right middle lane when it's safe to do so
Excellent. Lovely, very snappy, quick mirror checks. Now, with the dual carriageway, uh, these lane markings here, and this lane here has countdown markers. So it's the last one there, the rectangle with the white line. Those lane markings are short and close together yes. because that's an exit. Yeah. The sign shows us it's an exit. Yes. The countdown markers tell us there's an exit coming. And the cat's eyes or studs were green. Yeah. Red is the edge of the carriageway. Green is an exit or an entrance, i.e. a slip road. White reflective studs, cat's eyes, mark out the difference between the lanes, the lane markings, and amber is the central reservation, okay? So if it's foggy, or it's hard to see, your lights, that are normally always on, okay, um, will reflect those studs, and then you'll know if you're at the edge, central reservation, or in the middle of a dual carriageway due to the color of the studs. You're getting a little close to the white line, now you're very central. Now I've taken Pickle away, or well, I didn't, my daughter did. Yeah. She wanted to play with him. Anyways, so that's not really the reference point we want to be using for lane discipline anyways. I'll come back to the one that you do want to use in a moment. Now we've got a new left lane here. Very nice, well done. Lovely smooth steering. What I liked, maybe not so much now, that you accelerated when you change lanes. You maintain or gain speed when you change lanes. It's safe, providing you've got the distance in front to do so, okay? Now, I'm gonna get back to the lane markings and the reference point. So just continue to follow the road ahead, okay? So we're gonna stay in the lines. And talking about the line on your right, we've got bubble. Now, bubble is the toy in the bottom right-hand corner of your windscreen. Now, you can look dead straight. By the way, can you see these white circles with black lines? That's a national speed limit sign. We'll come back to that in a sec. You can look dead straight at the vehicle in front, and you'll pick up that these white lines and the lane markings on your right side are going on top of that toy's head. So they're going dun 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 Bum, 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 bum. Now, this is something I wanted to mention earlier. Dry conditions, two second gap. Yeah. Wet, four second gap. Ice, snow, ten second gap. don't drive, ten second yeah. gap. Don't drive because I'm out there in front of my car, so stay at home. Um, right, now measuring the distance, we take a landmark. That could be a sign, road marking, pothole, whatever. When that car gets to the landmark, we start to count. The amount of time it takes for us to reach the landmark is the distance that we are in time from that vehicle. Does that make sense? Yes. So we could take the next green sign coming up on the left. Now what I'm going to say is only a fall breaks a two second rule. Yes, that okay. takes about two seconds to say. Yeah. So here we go, he's getting there and he's somewhere near the green sign now. Only a fall breaks a two second rule. Look at that, we've got time to spare. Yeah. yeah. So we didn't reach that sign until after I'd said that sentence. That's good. If we did and we were less than two seconds, serious fault. Okay, oh, serious fault. Oh. Yes. Now you won't really have where we're gonna go to do your driving test. It's a secret, don't tell anybody. Promise <laughs> 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 um, You won't have these conditions, okay. okay? Right, now the first countdown mark are the three white lines yes. and the green, I don't know where that's gone, but they're every 100 yards, so here's the second one. There's the third one, the last one, yes. and then the exit shortly after. Okay, uh, yeah, let's exit. So take the next exit on the left, please. Lovely. Once we cross the line, cancel the signal. Brilliant. And what usually happens to speed when we exit a dual carriageway? It, it comes down, it reduces. Mm -hmm. Lovely. All right. Um, now, stay where we are. Are we allowed to stop on the edge of the road here? How do you know that? Is uh, there actually, signs no, telling you? No, actually, you can. You can? Yes, there's no 
white lines. There's no lines, there's no signs, so we're allowed to stop on the left. I'd like you to pull over and stop on the left here for me, please. Mind the cat, just a little bit close. Okay. Right. Uh, I've got that wrong. <laughs> There is a sign. Okay, when you're ready, drive on for me, please. And I'm going to show you the sign. Oh, yeah, that's it. Okay. You see it? <laughs> yeah, no, no stopping. Excellent, yeah. So it says it ends. So what there is, is there's an urban clearway or a red route clearway, and it ends. So there aren't the red bad. lines, which normally yeah, they should. you would have, yeah. yeah. That's a controlled zone, so that means on the yellow lines, you're not allowed to stop until. Uh, it's outside of those times. Would you be able to go into the right lane, please, Mo? Keep it right. See the right arrow here in the gap? Yes. Turn through the central reservation here, please. Good positioning, yep. Yeah. So nice turn here for me through the central reservation here on the oh, right. Okay, so yeah. okay. Lots of steering. Now this is something you will do on your test at your test centre. So I'm just going to stop you here, probably because no one's coming. Yeah. Right, now someone was coming up this part of the dual carriageway to turn through here, through this gap. Yes. That half is theirs, so yes. this space next to us. Okay. This half, the left half of okay. this gap through ours. This, is ours. Okay. Now there's a, there's a test route uh -huh. um, where you'll be asked to do a U-turn through the central reservation. I see. Predominantly, if people aren't shown this mm, they by their instructor, yeah. they will position there and oh, they'll okay. fail the test. Okay, yeah, because no, you can do it, yeah. Can. Yeah, there's no markings, there's but no markings. ours is the left. Yeah. Right, now, obviously everyone makes mistakes, we're all human. Yes. Uh, me, for example, when I asked you to stop back there, okay? Yes. I didn't see any signs, so in my yeah. defense, that's why until I did see the sign, then we shortly moved on. So you see this gap over here where the white car just moved off? Yes. That's a parking bay. Okay. I'd like you to pull over and stop on the left over there for me, please. That's Both mirror checks in there, Mo? Yes. Good. And the reference point. Oh, the reference point isn't there anymore. <laughs> Sorry. It's I'll fine. put that back now. Okay. All right. And just put the car into park. Right. Relax for me. Yes. Uh, what I've done by pushing this button, this might be some pointless information, but no, I fine. doubt it. You see that icon there? Yeah, yeah. That's a stop start icon okay. for all vehicles. Wow. This is a new feature. Maybe not so new, but relevant now mm. for any new cars. Yeah. Uh, that the engine switch off when we're in neutral or we're in park. Okay. Yeah, or we stop the vehicle. Okay. That's to reduce emissions. Mm. So pretty much all cars, I believe, are fitted with this as standard now. Okay. Because I think it's just a regulation now. I'm not sure about that. Okay. If careful. anyone knows, please write in the comments. Okay, so what I did is I pushed that button mm. and I disengaged that, so I've turned it off. Oh, okay. The reason why I turned it off is because this aircon yeah, doesn't work doesn't as work. well without the engine on. Anything that's power assisted, like power steering, yeah, heating, aircon, needs engine. Yeah. yeah? All right, now uh, that completes this section of today's lesson. Yes. Okay? Okay. So, recap roundabouts, yes. mirror, signal, position, speed, look. Mm. Almost swore there. You're, you're ticking every box. I Thank swore you. out of happiness. Yes, no, uh, that's, that's a good one. Yeah, uh, swearing out of happiness. I've got kids, so I'm yes. quite good at <laughs> stopping that. Yeah. Um, right, and then we did the larder routine, the look, assess, decide, act. Okay. All right. Look, and again, without the swear words, mm -hmm. you're ticking all the boxes on that one as Perfect. well. All right. Okay. So let's give me a high five on that one. Shoot. All right. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is mm -hmm. we're actually going to be adding to your skill set so yes. if anybody's still awake and interested uh the next video will be me and mo going to do country lanes ah that's that's an important one for now uh some test centers do have country lanes yes. country lanes means there's no pavement yes okay okay now you're gonna have roundabouts as well so all the practice that you've put in today all the other f lessons that we've had so far uh pulling over and stopping mm -hmm. There's your reference point. Yeah. Can you just introduce him to camera, please? Everyone might be wondering who the hell Pickle is. Yes. There's Pickle. 
bubbles the fat one off camera oh, over bubbles, there, okay. okay? Now put pickle, because this is a beautiful position that you're in. Okay. Yeah? yeah? Put pickle where he's in line with the curb for me, so the curb's on his head. Mm, yeah? Yeah, I think so. All right, yeah, cool. All right. Yeah. Different for everybody? Yeah. All right, lovely. And that's what we use pickle for, for judging our distance from the pavement or from the left side of the uh, carriageway road, whatever you want to call it. Mm. Right, okay. Um, yeah, so um, dual carriage, we're going to go back on George Car uh, George carriageway. Dual carriageway, okay. Okay, I think we end the video there, don't yes, we? Yes, that's a good place. <laughs> and then we're going to go do the country lanes, okay? Uh, so turn around and just go straight. I'll give you directions. Cool. All right. Um, do me a favour, Mo. Yes. Really cheesy bit coming up now. Go ahead. Please like, comment and subscribe. Please. Thank you. Yeah, go ahead.